Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to connect to a comma separated file uh, in Power BI desktop. So a CSV file is a very commonly used data format to store data and we will learn how to extract data from this file. I've got the Power BI desktop open here with me as you can see and I'm on the home tab and here I'll go and click on get data. So as you can see it's giving me the option of text or CSV. So I could go and get the data from here, but I'll go and click on the more option. So it gives us a bigger menu. So you can see it is showing us different options and text and CSV is the top option. I'll cancel out of here. Just wanted to show you that this is an option which is available uh, with multiple file formats. Let's just move out. And then I will uh, go here and click again on get data and I will click on text or CSV. So I've got the data set I wanted to buy. So I've got the Titanic data set and I've got this one open here as well. So it's got the passenger, survived class, name, gender, age, and so on. So we'll load this data. So I pointed uh, my, uh, I pointed the file that I want to upload to, to this one and I click on open. And you can see that it is uh, upload. It's showing me this data set. So if I click on load, it is directly available to me in the Power BI desktop. And I can play around with it and do visualization. But let's say I go and click on transform data. So you can see here, I can remove some columns. I can do additional steps with my data that I have. So let's say I could remove this column and bug. And now I will load this data set. So I'll just hit close and apply. And you can see that on the right hand side, this data set is available to me and I can create in the visualizations I want. So in this video, just to recap, we learned how to uh, import a CSV data into Power BI. And for that, we went into the home tab on the Power BI desktop, clicked on get data option, and then we clicked on text or CSV. Then we pointed it to the file that we wanted to load. And we uh, hit the transform button to remove one of the columns. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers, bye.